this is day four, Monday, and it's about 8.20. I've been up since a little after six, but I'm just taking my time, taking it easy, getting ready. <coughs> I'm heading out. Had a pretty decent night of sleep. Beautiful area. <clears throat> We're at Flint Mountain Shelter last night. We stayed there after opting not to stay at Jerry's Cabin Shelter. <clears throat> and we pushed on and nearly wrecked ourselves, but we were that much further. We did 14 miles yesterday. Which was amazing, however, very hard. All these leaves on the trail. Nice little water. <clears throat> Must have had some wind come through. I thought we were supposed to get rain last night. And I heard it thunder a couple of times and then that was it. sure where we're headed today. Got a couple of options. Depends on how much food we have left. Depending on, I don't know, we've got several things we've got to figure out, but we'll get moving and see how far we get. Not quite sure what this terrain's going to be like today. Yesterday it looked like it was going to be easy. Turned out to be pretty strenuous. Fire scald knob, bald shell, uh, mountain, whatever it's called, fire scald was a booger. And that's, everybody hated it because it said open, no, it said exposed ridge line, thinking grassy field on top, you know? No, there's nothing but a bunch of boulders. <clears throat> but it had a great view from the top. There's a guy. I haven't got his name yet. Some people, somebody's been calling him Jesus, but of course he's no Jesus. <clears throat> he and his dog are out here. He's dressed in a long robe. He has long black hair. He's real thin. Carries very little. He's got a large, uh, like a bamboo stick, a large staff. Not a staff. Yeah, I guess it's a walking staff. Not a typical trekking pole. <clears throat> he and his dog, from what I understand, eat from the land. So he eats what he can find out here, bugs and uh, grasses. So he's vegan. And his dog. So I'm not sure how that works out. The dog actually looks a little sad. I think it's an older dog, <clears throat> and he had told someone that it's probably going to be the last trip out for the dog because he's just older, not doing well. Anyway, he's an interesting character. He's got an interesting look. It's kind of neat. We're headed out, and I probably better stop and wait on Buster. He was back there getting water. But I thought I'd walk ahead and do a little talking. See y'all later.
this is it. <laughs> kind of looks like where it goes. Unless cows use it. Stopped at the top of that mountain. Uh, I don't know if it had a name, but I know just down from it it's called Lick Log Lick Log Gap. We had a little lunch. Took a break. Much needed one because we just climbed up two miles up that first mountain. Now we're headed back down for several miles. Actually got a little cool up on top. We've been uh, sweating so much through the morning, sopping wet. When we stopped to eat lunch, the breeze was blowing, cooled us off, and got a little bit chilly. So right now there's not any sweating going on. We're just trying to get warmed up, which is unusual. But that's how it goes. Anyway, we're heading on.